But now here's what I wanted to share with you that I thought you'll find pretty interesting. That, uh, it's not something you run into every day, okay? So as long as you have a little bit of time, I want to share with you. All right. What Dr. Gilbert just told me is that he knows some guys that have gotten so good at cutting the ends of the plates that they can almost butt together beautifully, right? And that's a great art, and that's difficult to accomplish. Now, here's how I like to get the art department to help me make that happen, okay? Pre-press. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> for the sake of this illustration, we're going to have the, 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 the plate that we're going to build, right, is virtually continuous. We want there to be no gap. We want to intentionally shoot for that, okay? Here's the key. I hope you're going to say what we're doing. <laughs> okay. Well, I wrote an article on it. It's on the internet, and I have good illustrations and everything. So download it. It's called uh, uh, "Butt Cuts for Continuous Printing" or something like that. I wrote this years ago. Okay. Now watch this. You have a cylinder. Mm -hmm. You have mounting tape, mm -hmm. and then you have this plate that you want to be perfect right there. You want this end and this end to meet as perfectly as possible, okay? Now, what a lot of folks do is they overlap that and they cut through it and stuff like that. It's undesirable, right? Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. If you really have a handle on your tape, your variables, your cylinders are the right bare cylinder diameter, mm -hmm. have the right bare cylinder, the, the, the right bare diameter, your mounting tape is correct, and your plates are correct, 067 in this case, getting to where that you can come on this print diameter being actually what you want it to be, theoretical, right? It's not built up to high or something. Where you can count on if you make this outer image the correct length, it's gonna meet there correctly because that point is gonna to come to the right diameter, then this will work. What I've done is, when the plate is in the flat, right? Mm -hmm. Now, we know that that outer diameter, that outer circumference, is the overall repeat. But when we make the plate in the flat, if we made it, that overall repeat, it will grow too big. So we're going to have to distort it, right? So if our distortion is right, bare cylinder diameter is right, mounting tape thickness is right, and all that, this is what we can do. Let's say that this is your plate area. You're going to burn, you're going to make a plate. Like I said, a lot of times, let's say that this corresponded to the end of the image and the end of the image. And some folks make a little bit extra or something like that, right? Rather than do that, what I like my art folks to do is I say, look, this is the very end of that plate. And this is the other very end of that plate. I don't want anything beyond that point, okay? Matter of fact, I could even have it with relief at that point. Right? So watch this. Why that? Okay, so now I tell my art department, end the plate there, and rather than go off, end it exactly there and create relief for me. Okay, so now I still have, in theory, all the print surface I need. Okay? I don't need anything beyond that because I said, I pre-qualified by saying everything's correct. When this thing comes around, salute. <laughs> salute. When this thing comes around, it's going to meet right at those points. I don't need any extra. Okay? So why the shoulder and everything like that? This is why. What I do, now we're going to zoom in a little bit closer. What I'm able to do when that shoulder exists, here's the shoulder. This is the shoulder right here. And then, so you have this little corner right there, okay? But when I, that corner corresponds to the end of the plate, and there's your floor, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut it, say, from there to there. I then take my ruler, my straight edge, and I look down at the surface of this plate, right? And I'm going to cut it along this edge so I kind of get it to where a light. It's, you know, the plate surface is shining. Mm -hmm. So I can see. 
exactly where that edge ends and where it starts to drop off. With good lighting, good vision, glasses, copper, whatever, I place my cutting straight edge right against it. I'm cutting it, one eye closed. I'm really looking at it, okay? And I'm putting it right to the, at that edge so that my ruler, looking at it this way, is now laying on here right dead exactly against that corner, mm -hmm. okay? Now, when I take, now I take the razor, the, the cutter, the, the, my favorite little cutting tool, whatever that is, right here. Take my little brand new blade on it, all right? I take the blade out, flip it. Brand new blade, has to be sharp, brand new. I'm gonna place this thing at a slight angle so that the cutting business just like when we talked about, just like when we talked about cutting the mounting tape a little bit cut under, we're going to cut this end of the plate slightly undercut. This is an exaggerated angle, okay? In, in reality, it's a lesser angle, and I actually want to do the math to determine what that should be. It's a known angle, and I'd like to find out what that angle is so we can incorporate it into a cutter maybe, and I'd actually have that be done on, with a cutting A, okay? But for the sake of this conversation, I make this angle exaggerated so you can see how it's cutting under. At the other end of the plate, we do the same thing. Where it, where it comes down like this, you know, we put our cutting thing at that edge, and now we're going to cut this way. Okay? That's an exaggerated angle. Because this part, the bottom part of the plate, corresponds to the diameter uh, that's created by the mounting tape. The bottom of the plate... Uh, uh, yeah, here, okay? It comes in contact here. Where it comes up here, it comes, that's that point there, okay? But, so what have I done? My pre-press department told me exactly where I need to cut by ending the image there in both cases. They gave me a shoulder so that even if, I, I don't want to cut at all, maybe into the image, or I can, almost some kinds I'm taking like, microscopic slivers on it. But the better you get at cutting right dead nuts at that corner, and the shoulder helps do that, you know, by showing you where the shiny part ends and where it drops off, and making it easier to cut, and the shoulder presents itself to you when you're angling the blade slide, by doing that, and not having any more image of that, and with a little bit of practice, this thing will come around. You won't even have to lay it on the cylinder. You just you just take the, the straight edge right to the edge of that shiny part, look at it real good, cut it with a slight undercut there, do the same thing to the other one, put your tape on, put your plate around, boom! It comes dead. I mean, the better you get at it, the more perfect the seam is right there. 